So this video is regarding a ship station connector with Odoo. ShipStation is basically a shipping service provider that integrates different services like USPS, FedEx, UPS, Amazon Prime, eBay, and a lot of other shipping services which come under the services of ShipStation. The purpose of this particular module is to provide integrated services between Odoo ERP system and ShipStation which can help the customers create quotations based on the product weight and place where they're delivering their products. Odoo will allow them to fetch the pricing for the shipping services that they select. It also generates the shipping label right away so that it's all ready for pickup from the shipping service company. So let's get started. First of all, we'll start with the configuration panel required for the ship station integration. So we need to go to the inventory module in the inventory module, we have a separate panel defined for ShipStation, which is here at the bottom. This is where we define the API credentials, which will allow us to fetch the rates from ShipStation and also generate shipping labels. So just a quick look at this, uh, I have created my ShipStation configuration in which I have the host which is required to call our APIs and the credentials which are from ShipStation. So I have configured that. On the click of this button, what it does is that all the shipping services which are under my account, it will go ahead and create the shipping methods into Odoo so that I can start using them when I'm doing my sales. So I just go to configurations and then shipping methods. And so here you can see that currently I have USPS as my provider under this ship, ship, ship station account. So I've got all the services from USPS synced into Odoo and the provider is ship station. So let's go ahead and create an order and let's see how that works. I'll go to my home screen and I'll start by creating a sales order. So let's click on sales. Firstly, let me explain how the product needs to be configured. So I'll go to my product master. Let's search for a product which I tried to pre-configure. Uh, so here you see um, a large cabinet. So set the information which comes in handy is the weight of the product. So what I have done is that I have configured the weight of the product here in the system. And this particular product is stockable, so it will have the inventory in place. So um, this is the configuration which is important. And the other important thing is the customer address, which um, will come while doing the transaction. So for now, let's go ahead and create a quotation. I will select an account created for a customer. I have the address is pre-configured. I'll add the product which we need to sell, which is a large cabinet as we pre-configured. So let's say two quantities of this product. The next step which I need to do is to find out what would be my shipping cost if I were to deliver it to the customer. So. Based on the discussion with the customer, I'll click on add shipping and if the customer is on a call or something, you can ultimately decide the services. Let's say USPS priority mail and I have a button right here to get the rate which will fetch the latest rate based on USPS services and it will get updated here which in case is $7.98 which is my shipping cost. So if the customer agrees I can click on add and it would be added to my order. So you don't need to go back and forth between ShipStation and Odoo to identify what would be the rate for the shipping and then update it in the system. Just one click from here and you can identify the rate and the system will take care of the rest. As my order is agreed between the customer, I can confirm this particular order. On confirmation, it automatically creates a delivery order so it informs my warehouse team that they need to dispatch this order which is available in inventory. So I'll go to my inventory where I have two of them reserved. So the next thing which is important for the ship station connector 
is that as soon as I validate this delivery order in the system, it should generate a shipping label with a packing list which goes to the parcel. So as soon as I confirm this and I validate the particular delivery order, it will move to the ready stage. And it adds a tracking option here which will contain the tracking number which is automatically generated and it also has the shipping label here. So let's have a quick look at how the shipping label would look like. So since we're using a sandbox, you'll see the void label here on top, but it will generate a shipping label automatically and it will be with a packing list document, which can be pre-configured for this size so that it comes up on the same label, which we will be putting on your parcel. So that's the label which is generated. Apart from that, you also have additional information here where you can see that you have a tracking reference number which has automatically been allocated to this order so that when the customer follows up, you have the necessary tracking data or we can even automate the system to send an email to the customer directly specifying the tracking number that they need to follow up on. There is also a button that they can click on uh, and redirect the ship station website to identify the ship station status. So this is the module that we developed to serve the customer better in terms of fetching the latest shipping rates based on the services that they select and generate ship station label which will help them deliver their goods. Thanks so much for watching.